It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Jack Grealish plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. And a look at the Inter team. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays oh, alongside Derek, big chance here. Chance maybe. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland. What are you expecting to see from... Can he finish? Still a chance. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead but you have to give the goalkeeper credit what a brilliant save that was well maybe a chance for them now to relieve the pressure by stringing a few passes together Gundogan well he read that brilliantly at the back Martinez Martinez and the pass could do damage off the post and back in play. Lukaku able to get his body in the way. Well, Inter could easily be leading now. They certainly look threatening every time they go forward. You just sense a goal is coming here. Kevin De Bruyne. It's a promising City move. And still they wait for the chance take the lead here Gundogan on to Grealish De Bruyne Well, here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is absolutely perfect. Chananolu Di Marco the ball with Martinez Chananolu big chance to get them on terms that is a tackle and a half Rodri it's with Gundogan so nearing the break and City hold the edge Stuart how about your critique of what they put into the game so far well they've worked hard and played well to be in front here but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time now 
And with that, the attack fizzles out. Kevin De Bruyne. Walker. On to Mares. De Bruyne. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Rodri. De Bruyne. And a body in the way. De Bruyne for the chance. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Lukaku. Good looking sequence. Well, the supporters think it's on. Still trying to make something happen. It's still alive. Well, they can keep possession now. The first half here comes to an end. Into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory. Lukaku shielding the ball superbly. Lukaku. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Riyad Mahrez. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. And a very good challenge. Chalanolu. Federico Di Marco. Oh, a lovely ball. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And they're making a change. So the corner played into the box. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Thirty minutes to go then. Brozovic. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, he's placed it wide. Really close shave. A change in the offing for City. Rodri. Phil Foden now. He's going forward well here. Mares. Now with De Bruyne. Holland. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Matteo Damian. Now with Mickey Tarian. And into the last 20 minutes. And he might be through here. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Mares. De Bruyne now. Holland. He read the situation defensively and did his job. He continues his run. Mares. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Martinez and it's with Dumfries Barella the 
was it going to be? Mkhitaryan. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, very effective play in possession. Martinez! Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Can they nudge in front late on here? Crossing possibilities. Holland. Can they forge ahead? And still a chance. What an important piece of defending. And time is of the essence. Corner awarded to Manchester City. And De Bruyne firing it over. And that was a very fine read. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Lukaku. Lukaku. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, 2 1 it is here. Romelu Lukaku. Erling Haaland. We're getting the ball forward. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, as you can see, Inter had much less of the ball. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And the threat on the counter attack is very real. Here they come again. Oh, they've lost it. Gundogan. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. Mr. 
Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? So a throw in for Inter here. Lukaku. Martinez. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Delivering it. Well, it still could be dangerous. Martinez! Oh, in it goes! A late goal, a huge goal in this Champions League final. When you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Alvarez. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. And a very good challenge. Martinez. Lukaku. Nikitari and waiting. Not messing around with that clearance. And there to intervene. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. And he's through. Here's the replay. Just look at this pass from Lukaku. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. And there it is! Full time! They are the Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners.